Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. So a few people asked me for um, more in-depth uh, answer key because I just wrote the answers down for these because the, my, my work was messy and hard to fit on the worksheet. And so I was going to just write it out neatly and I decided that it was still hard to read because there's just so many numbers everywhere. And so I thought maybe posting an answer key video for, for worksheet uh, 5.3 for a few of the problems would be a good idea because then you could watch me work them <clears throat> and see where all the numbers come from. Of course, you do not have to watch this whole thing. You can fast forward to question four if you want. I have a question two on here too I'll do later uh, if you need help on two. I also have um, an extra practice because I was asked by a few people for an extra practice problem. And they can go uh, pause it and then uh, try it themselves and see if they get the same answer as me. Um, but anyways, let me jump right into this. <clears throat> so this is question three from the worksheet. 5.2 worksheet where we're doing a long division we are dividing by two terms and so I need to be able to do this division and so let me get some scratch workspace over here this will be where I do my scratch work remember the idea is we look at the first term of the the dividend and the first term of the divisor and we say how many times does x divide evenly into x to the third and so that question is well what is x to the third divided by x that's all that question is. It's saying, okay, let's take the first term and divide it into the first term here. And so what this is going to be is this is an exponent rule. Because remember, there's understood to be a 1 right there. And so when we do this subtraction of 3 to the, or x to the 3 minus 1, that just gives us x squared. So our first term here, the first piece of our answer will be x squared. And that just comes from this question of taking the first term and dividing it into the first term from the divisor to the dividend. Now the next step is <clears throat> to complete a cycle. Once we put an answer up there, we need to multiply the term that we got in the answer times the thing we're dividing by. So x squared times x is x to the third, and x squared times a positive 5 is a positive 5x to the third, uh, x squared squared is a little bit sloppy. Let me try to fix it without erasing everything. Okay, <clears throat> now here's where we have to be extremely careful. We need to subtract this off. So subtracting this off, um, just as, a, as another scratch work, we have x to the third plus 6x squared. And we are trying to subtract off x to the third plus 5x squared. Remember when we did this earlier, we, well, oh, it's a horrible line. Let's try that again. When we did this earlier, we distributed the subtraction sign into these. And what that causes is the top stays left alone for a step. Uh, but the bottom, all the signs change. This becomes a minus x to the third. And this becomes, let's see, got a positive 5x squared with another minus that becomes a minus 5x squared. And then I can try to combine these like terms. And these would just add to 0 or cancel. 6x squared minus 5x squared is 1x squared. <clears throat> so how I show that over here is I try to jump right to this second step after distributing the minus signs. And so I usually grab a, a red marker or a red color and I go, OK, so let's change this to subtracting. So change the signs. And now I can combine these like terms. x to the third minus x to the third, gone. 6x squared, negative 5x squared, that is a positive 1x squared. Okay, so we have completed a cycle. We bring down the next term, which is plus 4x, and we do it again. So do it again, what I mean is we look at the first term, look at the first term. How does x divide into x squared? So x squared divided by x. Once again, that's just an exponent rule, 2 minus 1, so that's just x to the first power. So that is a positive x, so I put plus x. And we keep the cycle going. We take what we just wrote down, and we multiply it by what we divided by x times x is x squared. x times a positive 5 is a positive 5x. And then we got to be careful. What we're going to do is subtract off this x squared plus 5x. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute this minus sign in. Get minus x squared minus 5x. And what this will give me is x squared minus x squared. Boom. Positive 4x 
minus 5x, that is a negative 1x, or a negative x. And I can bring down the next term, which happens to be a minus 7. <clears throat> and so we get through our cycle one more last time. Look at the first term, it's negative x. Look at the first term, it's x. So doing the same scratch work, negative x divided by x, that will be negative x to the 1 minus 1, or negative x to the 0. Anything to the 0 is 1, so this is negative 1. So negative 1. <clears throat> okay, now we still need to keep going. Our negative 1 times our x minus 5. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 5 is a minus 5. And then once again, don't forget that we are going to subtract these off. So subtracting them off changes the signs. Negative x plus x, gone. Negative 5 plus 5, or negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. So that is our remainder. <clears throat> I have finished all my cycling. Now I can write my final answer. x squared plus x minus 1. And then I got to add the remainder. You can write it plus negative 2 over x plus 5. Or you could put the minus out here and do minus 2 over x plus 5. But remainder over the, the, what we divided by. So there is the final answer. So go back if you're confused on that. You can watch it, pause it, think about it, ponder things. <clears throat> See where you went wrong on your work. Keep trying it, though. Let's jump to problem four now and do that one. It's a bigger one so that you can practice with more cycles through things. Let's get a spot for my scratch work. <clears throat> and so we'll jump right in. x to the fourth and x. Remember, we look at the first terms. x to the fourth divided by x. That is an exponent rule. 4 minus 1, it'll be x to the third. So I get x to the third. Then I take what I put up in the answer spot and I multiply it by what I'm dividing by. That will give me x to the fourth. x times a minus 2 will be minus 2x to the third. Now I got to remember that I'm subtracting this off. So change, change. Those eliminate. <clears throat> positive 4x to the third, positive 2x to the third, that makes a positive 6x to the third. And I bring down my next term, minus x squared. And so I do the same thing again. First term, first term, 6x to the third divided by x. What's that going to be? That'll be 6 to the x, 3 minus 1 which is 6x squared. It's a positive 6x squared. And so I do what I always do. I take what I just wrote in the answer and multiply it by what I'm dividing by. 6x squared times x is 6x to the third. 6x squared times a minus 2 is minus 12x squared. But remember, we have to be careful because we are subtracting this off, so I change both those signs. 6x to the third minus 6x to the third, gone. Minus x squared plus 12x squared makes a positive 11x squared. And so I will need to bring down my next term, my minus 16x. And we will do this all over again, another cycle. 11x squared divided by x. Looking at the first terms again, 11x squared divided by x. That will give me 11x squared divided by x. Let's see, that'll be x to the 2 minus 1, or 11x to the 1, but I, I don't have to put a 1 there, right? So 11x. So positive 11x. <clears throat> we go through the same cycle. Take our 11x, multiply by what we're dividing by. 11x times x is 11x squared. 11x times a negative 2 is negative 22x. Now be very careful subtracting things off. Got to change the sign, change the sign. Those eliminate. Negative 16x plus 22x is going to be a positive 6x. Oh my goodness, I can't count. Positive 6x. Bring down our last term, or minus 4, and we do our last cycle through this time. First term is 6x, first term here is x, 6x six over x. That is just 6 because the x's will cancel. So 
plus 6 finish our cycle we take our 6 and multiply by x minus 2 that'll be 6x x and the minus 2 is minus 12 remember we are subtracting here so change those signs what do I get for a remainder I get 8 <clears throat> okay so let's see if we can write our answer out all nicely and neatly now since we have finished so grab the the top part here the answer x to the third plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6 plus and we write our remainder on top and what we divided by x minus 2 and the denominator so there we go so that is problem four if you need to watch it and pause and slow me down some you can it's a YouTube video you can do whatever you want to with it <clears throat> so someone wanted uh, a few people asked for extra practice so here's another problem you can practice I'll do it really quickly if you want to try it real quick pause try it and then see what you what I get for the answer and see if you can follow along um, I'll go kind of quickly um, I may do it without showing my scratch work to the side if you still need to show your scratch work you can I usually don't because I can do x divided into 2x to the fourth I know that'll be 2x to the third you can do your scratch work you'll get that 2x to the third times x is 2x to the fourth 2x to the third times a negative 5 is negative 10x to the third remember that we are subtracting so minus plus and what we will get here these will cancel negative 13x to the third plus 10x to the third leaves me with negative 3x to the third and I will bring down my next term plus 16x squared so we'll look at the first term again negative 3x to the third divided by x that is negative 3x squared <clears throat> multiply negative 3x squared by x minus 5 negative 3x squared times x is negative 3x to the third negative 3x squared times negative 5 is positive 15x squared once again remember that we're going to subtract these so that changes the signs <clears throat> when I go to combine them these are opposites 16x squared minus 15x squared is just positive 1x squared bring down my next number my negative 9x <clears throat> So, x squared divided by x, look at the first terms, that is just positive x. Multiply it back, x squared, multiply x times minus 5 is minus 5x. And remember that we are subtracting this off, so change the sign, change the sign. What will I get? Those eliminate negative 9x plus 5x is negative 4x. Bring down my plus 20. So I am almost finished. <clears throat> look at the first term minus 4x divided by x that is minus 4 like I said if you still need to do scratch work out to the side that's fine now I gotta finish this off negative 4 times x minus 5 so this is negative 4x negative 4 times a negative 5 is plus 20 Ooh, this one actually doesn't have a remainder I guess I picked one without a remainder on accident <clears throat> that's okay though and then if we remember that we're subtracting these off change the sign change the sign that eliminates that eliminates there actually is no remainder this time so our final answer is just what's in the top 2x to the third minus 3x squared plus x minus 4 so there is an extra practice problem for you like I said <clears throat> try it see if you can understand it now someone asked me about question 2 as well so this is question 2 from the worksheet let me work this with you carefully so what I'm going to do is remember I can break this into three separate division problems where I take each term and put it over 3x to the fourth y so 15x to the fourth y over 3x to the fourth y <coughs> minus 24x to the third y squared all divided by 3x to the fourth y. I hope I copied it correctly. If I didn't, forgive me. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to look at these three separate divisions now is what we've turned it into. 
So let's look at the first one. And we're going to take it number x is y. So that's how we're going to do it. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. x to the 5th divided by x to the 4th. If you're thinking of scratch work here, x to the 5th divided by x to the 4th, exponent rule tells you to take the top exponent and subtract the bottom one. So that'll be x to the 1st, which we'll just call x. So I get 2x. Same thing with the y's here. <clears throat> Hopefully I copied this right. Let's see. y over y. Hmm. y over y cancels. I'll show you why. Um, remember they're understood to have 1's. And that would be y to the 1 minus 1. Which is y to the 0. Remember anything to the 0 power is 1. So if I put times 1 here, that changes nothing. I don't even need to put it. <clears throat> or you could just say y on top, y on bottom. They're identical. Okay, bring down our plus sign. Let's keep going. 15 divided by 3 is 5. x to the 4th, x to the 4th. Ah, that's identical. It would end up just like this one with a 0. And so, y over y, we've already done that, right? <clears throat> so the middle term is just a 5. That's really simple. Bring down your subtraction sign. So now 24 divided by 3 is 8. x to the 3rd over x to the 4th. Let's look at that. x to the 3rd over x to the 4th. That would be x to the 3 minus 4, which is x to the negative 1. I'm going to write it there for a second, but we'll need to fix this because we're not allowed negative exponents. And then finally, y squared over y, that would be y to the 2 minus 1, or y to the 1, just y. Okay, <clears throat> so here's where we're sitting. i got to fix this last term. The first two terms are fine. I don't want to mess with the 2x plus 5 minus. Here I only need to fix the negative exponent. The 8 and the y do not have negative exponents, so they stay where they are. The x to the negative 1, this piece has to change from top to bottom. And when I change it, it becomes x to the positive 1. I don't have to put the positive 1, though. And so I have fixed it, and I am finished. Okay. So if you need to watch this and pause it and ponder, I know I went kind of fast, but I didn't want to give you a, a, a two hour long video. Uh, watch it, slow it down, pause it where you need to. Um, I hope this helps. Have a good day, guys.